Moi. Moi. Thank you, Sini, for the introduction. Only I will add my nickname. Quite often I'm introduced as Anne Antena by my colleagues. It's maybe easier to remember. And my topic today is antennas in IMS structures. Briefly, the content of the presentation. First, we will, will, we will start with the motiva motivation. What is an antenna? Why it is needed? And how to influence its operation? Then we will go to the benefits IMSC offers for antenna performance. And finally, we will go through IMSC antenna design workflow. There exists no wireless communication without antennas below the frequencies of light. Antenna is a transformer. It transforms free space propagated electromagnetic wave into a guided form inside the device, and vice versa. It radiates and it receives electromagnetic radio waves. Nowadays, quite commonly, antennas, they are hided, integrated inside the devices. And when everything is working fine, you have a good quality connection. Data rate is high, no dropped calls. You don't really pay attention to antennas. But when there is a bad connection, bad slow conne connection, you maybe need to research your device quite often. Bad antenna design is one to be blamed. So, how to design a good antenna with excellent performance? Mainly two things determine the antenna performance. The size of the antenna, and the location of the antenna. In the world of antennas, big is beautiful. On the other hand, operation frequency affects to the um, antenna size. It's inversely proportional to the frequency. So higher the frequency, smaller the antenna. Also, the antenna dimensions, they need to be related to the wavelength of, the, of that wave it's intended to ex excite. If you squeeze the antenna too small, it cannot create electromagnetic wave in an efficient way. And the other thing is the location. The antennas, they are very sensitive. If you put some components, metals, ground planes, materials into the near proximity, they are affected by them. And in most cases, they are disturbing. They are degrading the performance. And at least they will retune the operation, the resonant frequency. So the antenna needs to be designed to its operational environment. Three years ago, when I first came across with IMSC, for me, after designing almost 20 years, mainly way too small mobile phone antennas, it was very easy to see what benefits IMSC offers for antenna performance. With IMSC, we can place the radiator on the surface. So mainly three benefits, major benefits. When the radiator is placed on the surface, surely it can be larger than it would be in traditional electronics, where is it inside the cover, squeezed by the mechanics. As we discussed earlier, the bigger, the better. Then, on the surface, the radiator it can be more far away from those disturbing components, also optimal location. And finally, on the surface radiator, it will be closer to the counterpart antenna. <laughs> this is especially true with NFC coils. To be exactly strict, NFC coil, it's not an antenna. 
When current flows on NFC coil, it creates, ma creates magnetic near field. And when you put another coil into that magnetic field, it induces current on that second coil. It's short distance energy transfer. If you go with the NFC coil to the annex chamber to measure its radiation, the radiation efficiency is zero percent. So it's not the antenna. Here in the pictures, we have uh, simulated magnetic field distribution of one of our projects where we replaced, this was a smart lock with NFC. We replaced in where the original design had a NFC coil on a PCP board. With IMSC NFC, NFC solution, we were able to locate the radiate of this coil on the surface. And it's easy to see that the magnetic field extends much further away with the IMSC solution. So we were able to improve uh, uh, read distance by 40%. IMSC antenna design workflow doesn't really differ from the conventional antenna design. Despite the fact you need to consider injection molding point. It's not a good idea to place the radiator surrounding that point. Been there, done that. <laughs> so in all antenna design works, the goal is to optimize antenna design into the given 3D volume to reach the customer specification and also fulfill mass production, mass production requirements. Nowadays, the most of antenna design work is done with help of 3D electromagnetic simulators. We at Tactotech, we are using CST from Dassault Systems Simulia Group, and it's very powerful and accurate tool. By the way, question for the audience. How many of you or your companies are running 3D simulators Simulations, electrical, mechanical, thermal. All Tactotech people, you should. <laughs> <laughs> okay, quite many. So it's very common also all other applications as well. As Janne mentioned during his presentation, uh, for antenna applications, we use the silver, ex silver inks with the highest conductivity. It's very uh, important to increase, do the everything to increase the performance. Also other materials, such as dielectrics and uh, plastics, they will affect the performance. So when we start building our initial simulation module, as an input, we have at least the operation frequency, specification, or maybe target performance. In some cases, we have a reference design. We have 3D volume, or we can have dimensions, or even some cases, we have a available a 3D model. And then these materials. In order to get accurate simulation model, which will really estimate the performance in reality, we need to model the materials precisely. Inks we already discussed, and for plastics, dielectrics, those we will need to know the loss tangent and uh, dielectric constant. With these inputs, we create the initial simulation model and start the antenna optimization. Usually parallel with this, we prepare rough prototype. Plastics, they are made from uh, 3D printing or machined plastics, and then we use copper tapes. We measure and tune the antenna with uh, its circuit level 
parameters with the vector network analyzer. And when the design gets more mature, we will fine tune our 3D model. And as soon we have achieved the specification or the target performance, we are ready to freeze our design and go to production. After production, we will measure uh, radiation properties of the antenna in anode chamber. This was a brief overview of IMSC antennas. In the future, autonomous driving, 5G, smart home, all those are emerging. And the role of antennas is coming even more important. For all ambitious antenna engineers, IMSC enables the possibility to achieve the optimal antenna performance instead of traditional compromise. Thank you.